Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I have here an HP touchpad, which is running Google Android uh, with the CyanogenMod 7.1 software. And I wanted to take a quick look at some video games and just sort of show you how they work. Um, some of the classic games like Angry Birds uh, work pretty much perfectly on this device. Now you'll notice that you've got the um, buttons over here, um, which you can actually make go away or bring back by pressing the home button. So that's Angry Birds for you. Now some other games don't work nearly as well here. So, um, for instance, I tried to load the free version of Asphalt. And let's go through that again, because that was pretty quick. It uh, simply tells you that it won't run on this device. And that's probably due to the uh, 1024 by 768 screen resolution, which is just not supported by this application, as you can tell by the fact that it sort of comes up in this little window. So we can click OK and get dumped back out. <coughs> now there's some other applications that show up in tiny windows and do play properly, but they don't take up the full screen. So for instance, Wixel, which is a word game here, looks like it's going to play, um, but it's actually only going to show up in a small screen here, and then you just sort of got this big border around it. Um, so you can play the game, and it might actually work better if you switch to... Uh, portrait mode so that you can sort of put your finger over it, but the uh, the experience is not as good as it could be. Uh, another game that sort of fits that description would be Guitar Hero. So you can see you can play the game here, but it's going to be playing in a small window. Now some other games look good and do fit the full screen, but the graphics, and I don't know how well you can tell here, the graphics are definitely kind of pixelated on this uh, role-playing game called Destinia. And, uh, but the game actually plays pretty nicely here, and everything does fit the screen properly. So that's Destinia. Um, a game that I know a lot of people are interested in, Dungeon Defenders, looks great, but not everything fits on the screen quite the way it should takes a little longer to load. Uh, the graphics are really quite impressive in this game, though. And as you can see, it's sort of cut off on the side here already. There we go. Um, and so you can see here that some of the options, like the uh, screen rotation button, are sort of off the side of the screen. You can definitely play, um, and it works pretty well, but it's not quite an ideal experience because it was clearly made for a 1280 by 800 pixel display as opposed to a um, 1024 by 768. Uh, games that look really nice on here include some uh, tower defense games. So here's the Field Runners HD application.
and Robo Defense, which I think I showed you in a previous video, is another tower defense game that looks pretty good. Although the graphics on uh, Field Runners are actually much more impressive. Turbofly 3D. Um, it's not quite as attractive as on a smaller device, but overall for a racing game it works really nicely and it does fit the full screen. The accelerometer doesn't work so you can't control it this way, but you can use the um, on-screen buttons which you have to configure in the settings. And definitely has a nice 3D look and feel to it. And what else have I managed to install on here? Let's do Zenonia. And so this is another game where you uh, control the character here and press the button. Uh, sort of emulates the feel of a console style game and it works pretty well. It's, uh, I won't say pixelated, I feel like it's more that the graphics are, are sort of designed to look a little bit more like say a Super Nintendo style game. Um, but it works pretty well and the gameplay is pretty nice. So Xenonia 3 works well on this tablet and fits the screen reasonably well. And have I installed anything else that I forgot to show you? Oh yes, Pinball. So this is the uh, free pinball deluxe game, which you'll notice there's some bars around the side, but it does take up the kind of the whole screen. Uh, meant to be played clearly in portrait mode. There's a couple of different Let's see if there's a way to get back to the beginning here. So there's different pinball uh, boards that you can play with. And overall, those are uh, some of the games that I tried. So you get a little bit of a, a hit or miss experience where some games are going to be playing in full screen, some are not, some are not going to play at all. Um, but overall, I'm pretty impressed with the performance. The games that do play all play very smoothly. Uh, graphics look pretty good. Sometimes they get blown up a little funny. So it's not quite the same experience as if you had purchased a Android tablet with a uh, NVIDIA Tegra processor and a high definition screen and Google Android uh, Honeycomb, for instance. But for a uh, tablet that was available briefly for $100 to $150, uh, has a nice processor, a good screen, and um, if you install Android, has access to a number of high quality and fun video games. Uh, most of the games I just showed you are actually available free in the Android market. Turbofly um, 3D is uh, the racing game, and that one I actually paid for a while back, uh, as did I for Robo Defense. There's a free version of Robo Defense, but it's uh, such a great game that I paid for the full version. So that's, uh, that's about all I wanted to show you right now. That's um, a look at gaming on the HP touchpad tablet running Android. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.